Hi, this is Neil Crooks, test manager for ETC. Uh, we're up here at Myra, the Motor Industry Research Association in Nuneaton, uh, to do a little bit of glass plate today on one of our replacements for the 4 Sport. So uh, first we're going to head down and uh, into the pit, into the area down there where we've got a camera set up to do some recording. So we're here, we've got uh, some high powered lights and a high speed camera. Uh, this one today will be setting up at around 2,000 frames a second uh, to do some shots of the uh, pattern going through a filled water bath just above us. I'll take you upstairs in a second, we'll have a look at that. So this is about the size of a manhole cover and uh, let's have a wander over, you can see that we uh, I've got water coming in at one side and that's a neoprene mat of 10 millimetres thick uh, to generate a, a nice water depth, water depth for taking the glass plate images. I think Brad is now going to on his way down. As the car drives over the glass plate, the high-speed camera captures what happens in detail. This footage is used by our engineers to assess how pattern elements can move water from the contact patch to minimise aquaplaning. OK, that's the glass plate done. Let's go do some aquaplaning. The aquaplaning trough here at Myra can be filled to around 10 millimetres water depth. It's a lot of water, but it's essential to test for a tread pattern's resistance to aquaplaning. This is one of those tests which also needs to be done on a fairly wind-free day because the water can pool at one end or the other, certainly if the wind's blowing longitudinally in line with the trough. And with a front-wheel drive vehicle, with the front wheels being driven and the rear wheels just spinning undriven, we can gauge when aquaplaning occurs by using the rears as the reference. So here comes Brad again, uh, another small speed increment. And as soon as his both wheels have uh, dropped into the trough, he'll accelerate and we're using the rear wheels as a datum and when the front wheels start spinning at 15%, we'll record that as the point of aquaplaning. Fully instrumental vehicle, of course. And that just about sums it up. Hope you enjoyed this little insight to some of our product development testing. Hope to bring you more in the future. 